Hello and welcome. I'm the Rusty Kaiser, and I'm Johnny B. Together we are modeling for advantage. advantage. Right, right. There's a little treat for you, Michael. I've bought you a certain box set. You bought me a box set, John. I bought you a box set with John. your money. <laughs> <laughs> it is a land speeder storm. Land speeder storm. Now I bought you this with your money. Yeah. Oh because, yeah. Because um, I have had one of these kits in the past. So what actually happened is I bought it because you told me to buy it, but you now believe that you didn't tell I me did to buy it. I did not tell you to buy it at all. <laughs> he saw the Space Marines uh, scouts, which I used in my Lost Patrol game, which hopefully you'll see. They'll have seen it by now. They, you, know, you know, those brown ones that look like they're smeared in their own yes, poo. Yes, the ones that yeah. you think you've got. Yeah, and I didn't like them. What did you call them? The CAC Marines? The CAC Marines, man. Um, yes, you saw those, and somehow, now this is the Lost in the Warp, I'm pretty mm. sure you didn't like them because they all look like they're squatting for a poo and i described to you how yeah. i got these marines from the land speed of storm see i have a very vivid recollection of a, of a conversation with john where he explained that i didn't need to use all of them in the land speed uh, i have very and so far yes. and they were differently yes. posed yes. but i didn't tell him to buy it <laughs> he just bought it and filled well, in the blanks one of us has a brain disease this is true <laughs> So, anyway, you've seen this kit before. But which one? Sorry, yes, I've seen this kit before. And and one of us officially one. has a brain disease, the other yes. one is untested. Yes. <laughs> now, I'm opening it. Yeah, mate. I'm gonna Th these guys are like, what are these idiots doing? Yes. Right. So, so Land Speed of Storm. Storm. Why, why did I buy this for you? <laughs> you didn't. I bought it. We yeah, that. Bit. You told me to buy it. <laughs> what did we get in there? Whoa! Oh. Flying base. Oh. <laughs> mate. There you go, your flying stands. So you get, believe it or not, a Land Speed of Storm, which is wonderful. Yeah, a Land Speed of Storm. Which is quite cool. I like the Land Speed of Storm. Oh, these are the naffled instructions with the dodgy, grainy, black and white instructions. Where did you, where did you get this relic from? Where did you get this relic from? I assume it's the same kit. It's been around for a long time. Has been right. so Anyway. This is not the same as the Land Speeder kit. It's not like it's a Land Speeder kit that you build different. It's a different kit. It's taller. It is longer. Different. Aesthetically, it's completely... Well, aesthetically, it has hints of the, the standard land speeder, Definitely. but they've stretched it out. You've got this carriage, this troop compartment in the back, e, which troops. is for the scouts, which yeah, is scouts, awesome. Yeah. So this is like a little, well, like a little chopper dude. Yeah, yeah, they've yeah. They've got little, little lines that they zip down from and all that stuff. Oh, have they? Yeah, this, this bit. They're like the abseil down? They've got little, little handles and they can abseil down. Oh, man. But anyway, you get some scouts in the back, yeah. which are here. But they missed a trick with this because they're not door gunners. Yeah. If they wanted that chopper thing, or they just. Sh they should have done that with the Scions. The heavy bolt. Well, they did, didn't they? With the Valkyrie. Does the Valkyrie have door gunners, though? Mm -hmm. Like literally dudes. Like sliding door gunners. Yeah, sliding doors with gunners with heavy bolters. Really good. But obviously I've this obviously is never seen anyone who's done anything other than glue that door well, shut. Well, no, exactly. That's right. <laughs> you, do, you do get the components to have. Really? Door gunners. Yeah. How much is a Valkyrie, John? 35, mostly 60 quid by the time we talk. Mm -hmm. And have a look. Anyways, this is right. a troop transport. Chopper. Chopper. It's a little helo thing, and you get the dudes on and there. And you get, yeah, so this is the, which you don't get in the ordinary land speeder. You get this extra sprue. Which has got, essentially got a, a unit of scouts. It's got a unit of scouts on, which is what I was interested in, because they're, they're posed very differently. But they are designed to be all hanging off. Yeah this thing yeah. here so you got to play hoping. around with them a little bit so you know so we put a bit of lost patrol with them cat marines that you've given me which are these which are these yeah now my scouts have only got like shotguns we kit bashed a plasma gun because the wolf scouts are a bit different yeah but to play lost patrol i need some guys with bolters and i didn't want exactly the same pose with the same forehead you know i thought that's <laughs> what it was so and this is only a few quid more than the scout kit so we try it really so, I think the scout kit's like 15 quid now and I think this is about 20. That's pretty good and you get a whole land speeder yeah, in it. Yeah. yeah, but I think in 40k this land speeder is junk. Yeah, but we play different, don't we, Michael? So yeah. it's going to be yeah. interesting to see it on the board. We, yes, definitely, definitely. But yeah, you've got your little scouts and we're going to wolf these up, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're going to wolf them up. Yeah, so if you give them a still of that, because that's very different to the scout. I mean, the scout kit is like the old tactical kit, but a, an early version, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very There's much. legs, there's Torso. upper bodies, and there's arms that hold weapons, most of which are in two parts. Yes. Yeah. It's not as dynamic as this kit at all. 
there are some dynamic poses, but making some of these um, into a position that they don't look as if they're pooing themselves yeah. is interesting. But I'm not stuck with a clear base problem that you no, have. You so are I can stand them on rocks yes, you where can. appropriate. Ooh, my, mm, some decals. Some decals, which will be mine. I'm so sure. we've got a flight stand, instructions. Two uh, sprues for the speed. Sprues. And, and a Sprue button. for the crew. Sprue for the crew. We're going to be back. We're going to build some of these. Transition as Mike. <gasps> Mate, we're back. What's this? It's almost like we only just unwrapped the box. Oh. And suddenly, poof, poof. <laughs> magic in it. Boom. Complete so, magic. So this is the Land Speed of Storm. The land and it's all storm. made. Made it, built it. I did prime the scouts because with some of the kit, the little bit of kit bashing was involved. Yes. I wanted to make sure that the joins were okay. Okay. So and these before are I told you this is how I did it. Yeah. I wanted to like, like yeah. that maybe when I spray it and think actually there's a big gap. There. Yeah. That <laughs> so would not be so good. I thought I better just check that 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 all fit together. Okay. So no green stuff was involved. So should we show these guys the land speed of storm as a starting point? We can. So this is the stuff built up. The land speed of storm is pretty much as is the two things that are different one is that the heavy bolter isn't attached yes because i intend to do that all at the same time as i mount the crew man in there yeah in terms of painting i need to paint the backs of the seats yeah. and things yeah, for sure i think that that's that for me that's important because i'm not that neat a painter not um that. so that and then the things that are not on it in terms of the build so the two things, there should be two sets of handles on each side, and I've only got one. Now, I was actually thinking to myself how nice it was that the, the plastic was quite soft as I was cutting bits off oh, the string no. and spinning them down. And two of those handles snapped. Just because from where you yeah. remove them from the sprue on the ends, it was really difficult to cut that off without applying some yeah. pressure. I two can of them see, snapped. I can see, yeah, where, where it was connected. That's not the best place to have a connection. Not, not, none of it was good. So there was those. And then the other thing is, of course, as you see on the box, this is intended for all these scouts to be hanging off here. And they're actually, this part up here, if you can see that, has, see, it's got like grapple lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's little connectors on that. But at least one of them is, is attached to the hand of one of the Marines. He's actually holding yes, on to it. Yeah. I thought, I didn't want to put two or three of them on. And I have a gap on the other side. I didn't put it on any of them. Yeah. If that makes well, sense. Well, not only that, but the intention was, like my Kyle Marines, mm. uh, was to use them on, on the battlefield. Exactly. Was as to get as alternate, access. Yeah. Uh, alternate looking I mean, scouts. this, to be fair, this isn't much more expensive than a scout team. Look, and you get like, land speeder. And, and you get a land team. speeder thrown in. You get six scouts, but clearly one of them has to drive it. <laughs> <laughs> and it does... It does look quite empty. And well, that's good, because they've disembarked. They've disembarked. And you can still wedge a, a dude in. You can still wedge a dude in look, on his bed. see? So I was toying with the idea of how many guys I wanted to leave in, but in the end, as it was for me, I'm going to leave the heavy bolter guy and the driver in. Right, so they're a, yeah. a constant. So the driver, you've seen, he's in there, and hopefully there's a, there'll be still for you to look yes. at, but there's a driver. He just is as is. Um, but one of the things about him is... His right hand. He's not. He's driving with one hand. Oh no, mate! He's and he's pressing a button. Boop. He's pressing a button with the other. He's changing the CD. Now, if you do buy these uh, scouts with the intention of kit bashing them, their arms and they're they're not multi pose. No, they're quite their arms specifically are, are like the, the, the join in specific places, yeah. and they're really only yeah. the one arm fits. Now, you can with a craft knife. <laughs> a hobby knife and a bit of glue uh, make some changes to that but very few of the arms are whole arms yeah they're just like pauldrons attached and then yeah from the yeah so to say from the neck down <laughs> uh <laughs> elbow. So attached in different places and again with that with that arm i think it was because it's yeah it's because literally. of the angle of it you've just got this bit here attaching straight onto the pauldron um yeah so i did the minimum amount of kit bashing here so he's as it is as is the heavy bolter guy yep this guy here so he's in a really weird pose for someone who's sat in a vehicle well he's, he's like, not sat in the chair no, he's, sitting he's up a kneeling bit. up on the chair now Get a better angle i could definitely have the heavy bolter what on 
I mean, I'm intending to 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 glue this all in there once it's all. Yeah, made I think in, you should have him in there because I, I think if the heavy bolt is not manned, how is the heavy bolt being fired by exactly the vehicle? Right. And the fact that you're actually going to be using the land speed of storm means you're going to need that. <laughs> Whereas my one, I didn't actually use the storm. You didn't so use the storm I used the heavy bolt, yeah. dude. He's kneeling down and yeah. he's firing. So yeah, because you, yeah, you, you need could him. with this pose. He does almost stand up. I mean, I would probably have him kneeling on a box or a rock or something. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably do something like that, which I had to do with some of the others. So that was him. But it's a really nice pose for shooting that heavy bolter as well. He's, he's got his hand it. over the top. He's bracing it. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. he's doing that Arnie thing, isn't he? Yeah. Or, yeah. But these four, which you're going to use. These four, definitely straight up going to use. Probably going to use the Moss Patrol. Because using them CAC Marines of yours is what I'm losing, I reckon. Well, they, these, you're halfway there with the same colour scheme, mate. Nah, so. mate, these are going to be Space Wolves. Yeah, right, They're going to be yeah. Space Wolves. They've got Space Wolf heads. Yes, I like that you've done that. They've got Space Wolf heads. Um, these are just as they are, though, right? Well, two but of them on the base. Yeah, so I put them on dynamic bases. Um, so this guy is supposed to like stand over the back. He's the sergeant guy, and that poses exactly as it is. Now he's an odd model, actually. You know about the model? Yeah. It's, it's nice that he's posed like he's fighting with his chainsaw. I like that. But his holster is empty. There's no pistol in that. Holster. Where did it go? He's lost it, mate. He's dropped it. <laughs> it fell out. He's dropped it. Is it? You sure? Oh, it is. His holster is empty. But it doesn't matter. He doesn't need a pistol because yeah. he's got... Whoa! Yeah. Two moves. But he just glued straight down on the base. His feet are fairly flat. I yeah. might have filed his feet very much. Just to give him a little bit. Just so he's a bit more stable. Right. Yeah. And same with this guy. Um, so again, this fella is... Crouchy. Built crouchy as, poop marine. He's crouching. I did need to kind of hold him in place while the glue set. Because yeah. I used the plastic glue. No, I think it looks like he's... He's, he's just, like... He's like braced into the yeah, shot. Yeah, he's not... Yeah. Well, either braced or just sort of sneaking up, you know. He's yeah, creeping doing around. Bit, doing yeah. a bit of a creep. Absolutely. Who's this, this and dude? he's got a top knot, so he is vulnerable to chaos. Yes, mate. Highly yeah, vulnerable. Then so we then got, we'll move on to the kit bashy one. We've got Baby Jovan. Baby Jovan? <laughs> like his kid brother. <laughs> Which is his kid brother. Barry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so he's on a rock. So bear in mind, I was intending to use these for Lost Patrol or maybe even Kill Team just to, because they're different scouts, yeah, to different mark places. this particular scout out as being a veteran or whatever. Uh, so he's intended to be standing with one foot on the on the running boards as almost an outrider. Yeah, he's, and he's sort of And the other off. hand, I think, is hanging on to the rappel line from the top. He's the paratrooper guy. So that whole arm... I can't remember whether it was... I don't think it was separate. I think I had to cut it off at the shoulder pad. Mm. Certainly, I had to cut a different arm off at the shoulder pad. Um, so, he's actually got a bolter and a combat knife, which is not a legal combination, but he was intended to look stylistically different from the other. But as a space wolf, he looks well armed. He looks proper space wolf, he mate. And because he's intended to have one leg in the vehicle and one on the running boards... I had to wedge something under his foot. Yeah. So this, because I use the sculpted bases, and this is just a bit of a squished Chaos Space Marine head. Yeah. I can't remember which kit that came out. That might be out of the new Primaris Shadow Spear stuff, you know. There were a few bits of sculpted yeah, bases. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's something from. like that, or, or, or somewhere like that. Um, and the reason I had to spray these, I think I may, I may have already mentioned, is to make sure they're properly fused yeah, with a, add a little gaps. bit of grit. No gaps. Because if you're using dynamic bases and you glue any kind of rock that they're standing on to that base, it often doesn't fit very well. I find flood it with plastic glue so it melts and then put so a tiny little bit of sand or grit or something around it just to help blend it. But it's yeah, that was just right a straight though. arm cut off at the, at, at the shoulder pad. Um, but I felt with that particular pose with the knife, it worked. Yeah, it does work. And then the final guy. The final guy. Mr. 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 I'm not just really having a sit part. down. Yeah, I'll just watch you guys fight. I'm just going to load up here. I'm just going to load up. Yeah. So he's intended to sit. I was I was really impressed with this kit. You know, it's, despite that, it's, it's a nice kit. Um, and there's things, there's features on it like the rappel lines and stuff, and there wasn't expecting to be there. And the nice detailing inside with shotguns, but there's also some benches inside. Yeah. And this guy's intended to be sat reloading on the inside of one of these benches. Just chilling. 
Just, just reloading. Chill. Yeah. Now, because of that big cavity at the back, I was tempted to leave him there, but I kind of had the bit between my teeth about trying to, trying to the challenge of can I make these models look, look functional? Functional. <laughs> So because he's sat down and he's not just sat down, he's got one leg out and one leg bent, as, as you can see there. But there is some bits of stowage that come on the sprue with the with the Wolf Scout. Which is perfect for sitting on. And so I could have taken a different object from somewhere else that would fit perfectly. But because we're doing this as a kit bash from yeah, this kit, yeah. I was desperate to see, can so I can use, can use just the, the pieces bits. in here to make this? So there's a big pouch, which I think is actually intended to go perhaps on the side of the land speaker. Yeah, take up those spaces take up a little those bit. flat spaces here. Um, but sat on that, he was nearly high enough. And I blue tacked him on and it seemed that he was high enough. But the blue tack was making a lip. Oh, mate. So he's actually sat on a rolled up camo cloak on yes. top of that <laughs> box. And he's got his little biscuit tin. And then he's got his, one of the smaller, on. which are like big ammo pouches. Yeah. I think you get with other scout kits, actually, because that other leg's just a little bit lower. But that works. I so mean, it's Space Wolf head, most of the only part that's not from the standard Space Wolf kit is uh, from this kit is this knife arm, which was unnecessary. That's just, yeah. This is the standard though, isn't it? It's a standard marine kit. But now having thought about it and seen yours, I am very tempted to get this guy kneeling on a rock with the heavy bolts. I was I just going to use a standard heavy bolt. My dude was there. just kneeling down and he's got the, he's got one of the underslung heavy bolters. One of the drum fed ones? Yeah. And drum it just fed. sort of works. So he's like mm. braced on the floor. As I think about it. So anyway, that was our look at the land speed of storm. It's not bad. Um, these, we're thinking about in 40k, by the way, these things came down a fair, fair bit in points recently. They're still grossly overpriced for what they do, but they are open topped and they do have seven wounds. And I said that's important for two reasons. Open top means you can fire the missile launcher <laughs> that the scouts are armed with <laughs> out of it. Sweet. You know, um, so potentially quite a decent amount of firepower, but that missile launcher is going to disembark if mm. it gets blown up. And having seven wounds means you don't die to one lucky crack missile yep. or melting gun. They need to put two heavy weapon shots needs to go through before you lose it. Which, mm. the number of times I have lost the five or six one vehicle to a single hit. Yeah. And it's really annoying when it happens. But with the, because I use the other land speed, it's quite a bit for the mobility. You know, you've got one wound spare. Yeah. <laughs> the snag with the space walls. The space walls pay a premium for their scouts because they have an outflank rule. Well, they're not troops either, are they? And they're not troops. No. But if I was playing chapter space marines, I'd be seriously thinking about this. Just option. fill up your troop component parts. Troop with, components. With your... Scouts are already fairly popular. Yeah. And you've got the beta bolter rule. You know, there's, there's, there's things going for them. You can put a decent amount of firepower in one of these and it's That's pretty cheap. Bad. But then rhinos are cheap. Do drop pads are cheap. Everything just got cheap. <laughs> ah, oh. when, when will space wolves get it? Soon. That was our look. We've got some stills at the end for you to look at. Thanks for looking. Thank you. Please remember to like, comment, share or subscribe this video. And if you are buying new games or new miniatures, please consider following our affiliate link to Wayland Games. It gives us a little bit of kickback and helps fund other projects for the channel. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome. Got you. I'm, <laughs> I'm Johnny B. And I'm the rest of the guys. And together, together we are. Modeling for advantage. Mate, we, just, we just can't do it when we do it different. We're gonna, we're gonna do that again. We're, we're gonna, gonna do that again. again. We're gonna do right. that again. You caught me off guard. Because I fucking got you and you can't, <laughs> you can't deal with anything different. I saw the hand raise. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you saw the hand raise? Not fucking what are you talking Hello about? Hello and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, waking my child up. That's you, you dickhead. Hello! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it, you prick. <laughs> You're not! I'm doing it. You're not, because we'll fluff it if you do it. The cack You said they all look like they're, they're shit all in their own shit. <laughs> they're all painted like they've got extreme diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah. How dare you say that? I mean, I, I am disabled in the head, but <laughs> even I remember not telling you to buy them. Dick move, it's like man. I forced you. It's like it's like you telling me I did to you what you did to me yesterday by saying, "Hey, shouldn't you be ordering a mix?" <laughs> I'm yeah. like, "Oh, 